what is a fact you know off the top of your head, preferably disturbing, that you probably shouldn't know, not safe for work? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Doctors removed the eyes of Jack the Ripper's last known victim in order to check if they could extract an image of the killer. That Robert Picton, serial killer in British Columbia, used to dispose of the bodies at a local fat rendering plant, meaning that many of the products made from that plant, think gummies or anything gelatin related, likely contain human remains. When you cremate someone with a tumor, a lot of times the tumor doesn't burn, it just smolders and smells bad. That the standard CPR dummy's face is allegedly based on a 16-year-old girl, La Inconnue de la Seine. The most common story that is circulated being that her body was pulled from the River Seine in the 1880s and, due to a bizarre turn of events, it became popular to have a cast of her face as a piece of art on the wall in the 1900s. In a similar vein, the reason the figures in the painting of The Raft of Medusa by Theodore Guéricault look so realistic is because the artist would go into hospitals, morgues, and other establishments to witness the dying patients, both in the last days of life and afterwards going so far as to observe an operation being undertaken on himself. Lastly, thanks to my medical law lecturer, the fact in the UK alone between 1 April and 30 September 2021, there were 45 incidents of equipment being left inside patients after surgery. This is far more common than you'd think. When a frog throws up, its entire stomach will fly out of its mouth and just hang there. The frog then flings out the contents of the stomach and swallows it back down. Humans, being mostly made of carbon, can be made into diamonds. I plan to go the cheaper route and have my ashes be rolled into a glass paperweight. Someday I might even end up on the shelf of a Goodwill for $2.99. Around 30 people die every year getting crushed from shaking a vending machine. The body fat of a drowned person turns into a soap-like substance if they stay underwater with no air contact. One of the most toxic chemicals on Earth is an organic mercury compound. The material safety sheet notes that it has a slightly sweet odor, but at a concentration where the smell is detectable, it is already lethal. That observation came from someone who would inevitably die from accidental exposure. Toilets are designed so it is impossible to pass out while puking and drown in one. If someone drowns in a toilet, they were murdered. They used to think that people who died of hypothermia were sexually assaulted. You apparently pop a boner in the final stages before you die. Hmm? Takes three hours for a 180 pound human to completely dissolve in a bathtub full of potassium hydroxide. How do you know that? If you skin a person alive and they somehow don't die of shock, they'll actually die due to hypothermia as without skin, they become unable to regulate their core body temperature. Lye will eventually dissolve larger chunks of flesh and bone far better than acid will, as long as you don't mind neutralizing and disposing of the unrecognizable sludge and crumbly bone shadows afterwards. For small chunks of flesh, piranha solution, a sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide mix will literally evaporate any hydrocarbon into CO2 relatively quickly. So it's a good for removing small amounts of evidence, like a finger or an eyeball. That there is something called a suicide tree in Australia. One brush up against it causes extreme pain. The stinging is often periodically felt for two to three years. It has been known to drive people mad. Even a horse jumped off a cliff, I think. A cremation oven is about 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Lava is about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Hawaii has accessible lava. If you're a cannibal, never eat the brains. Eating brains is how you catch a disease called kuru. It is 100% lethal. Orcas slap baby seals 80 plus feet into the air with their tails until the seal's skin comes off and eventually dies. The orcas will then not even eat it after, meaning that they literally just do it for fun. A perfectly healthy person can have a seizure at any point for no apparent reason. The human brain has neurons misfire all the time. 99.999% of the time, you don't notice because there's no noticeable effect. But if the wrong couple neurons misfire at the same time, 
it can induce a seizure. During the Cold War, British tornado pilots were told not to worry about having enough fuel to return to base as there wouldn't be a base to return to after the first two hours of war. In the late 90s or early 2000s, there was an entire forum dedicated to child porn called Little Angels that could be found through common search engines as in not hidden at all. Source, I wanted to get my mom a gift for her birthday and knew she liked little angel figurines, so I thought I'd try the internet to find somewhere that sold them. Seeing the forum name only, I didn't think anything of it when I clicked it. I wish I never saw what was there or knew it even existed. I did what I could to report it and have done what I can to move on. I hate that it isn't the last time I stumbled upon something like that. Next time was a co-worker stash after they needed their laptop fixed. That reports of child abuse dropped precipitously during the COVID-19 pandemic, not because less children were abused, but because teachers weren't able to see the typical evidence of abuse because most teaching was conducted online. Having an erection for four plus hours can cause gangrene of the dick, which is when tissue is dead or dying due to lack of blood flow or an infection caused by bacteria. This can lead to erectile dysfunction, cosmetic issues, permanent tissue damage, and in worst cases, as I've mentioned earlier, gangrene. The situation is called priapism. How ridiculously easy it is to make chemicals that go boom. They would be so unstable that they will probably go off from improper handling in an untrained environment, but you can absolutely make it from household materials, including making non-organic explosives. Non-organic explosives weren't even tested for before mid-2010s since the machines have to be calibrated separately. Elon Musk's father is currently with and has a child with his stepdaughter. He became her stepfather when she was about three. The last execution by guillotine was in France, obviously. On September 10th, 1977, Star Wars was released May of that year. I was told by a very senior police officer, a parent of a kid I taught, that it is estimated that 30% of all missing persons reported to police who are never located have been murdered, and more often than not, they have been murdered by the person reporting them missing in the first place. The police know this, but lack evidence to proceed with prosecutions. The U.S. military conducted chemical weapons tests on 60,000 U.S. service members during World War II. It was kept secret until the 1990s and wasn't widely known until NPR wrote an investigative story on it in 2015. Had a school presentation of this, cause it fascinates me while simultaneously horrifies me. The movie The Rock got me interested in finding out how much of it was true. The VX nerve agent kills in a brutally painful way. When you tell a muscle to contract, you send out a chemical, the ACH, in said muscle, causing it to contract. When you no longer want to tense it, you send out a new chemical, ACHE, neutralizing the first chemical. The VX nerve agent prevents this new substance, ACHE, from being used to neutralize the first substance, ACH. In the movie, they mention you get spasms strong enough to break your own back, which I don't know if it's true or not, but you will begin involuntarily tense every single muscle in your body, including the diaphragm muscle. With so much force, it can tear its own muscle attachment until you eventually die because you can't exhale. If you spray mere millimeters of this substance on a door handle, the next person to grab the door handle will die. It was used to assassinate Kim Jong-un's brother, Kim Jong-nam, by spraying him in the face with this substance in a regular water spray container. I believe the ones who did this also died from the very minuscule amounts that landed on them as well. Not as disturbing as some of the ones in here, but the reason dogs like squeaky noises are essentially because they remind them of a dying animal. Good boy. 